Hare Krishna. So, <clears throat> today we continue our uh, seminar and discussion on uh, killing the demons in Vrindavan by Lord Krishna. Yesterday we discussed how Krishna uh, killed Putana. And uh, we said that Putana represents false guru. A hovorili sme o tom, že Putana ona reprezentuje falošného gurua. And it's not just something outside this false guru, but uh, it's also uh, can be uh, we can be uh, misguided by ourselves also. <laughs> A nie je to len zvonka, ale my môžeme byť uh, zvedení aj znútra samým sebou. Um, and Putana, we said, offers uh, poisoned milk to Krishna. Yes, and it looks like uh, good nourishment, but actually it's poison. Yes, so we should be very careful um, from whom we accept anything. Um, so, um, after this incident, uh, it was significant that Father Nanda Maharaj was not present at the time when uh, Putana came there. Že bolo zaujímavé, že uh, v tom momente, keď tam prišla Putana, tak Nanda Maharaj, on tam nebol prítomný. Um, he was, uh, he, he tried to, to bring his yearly taxes to, to King Kamsa. A on bol zaniesť tie ročné dane kráľovi Kamsovi. And he met also Vasudev there in Matura. And um. And he was warned by Vasudev that uh, some disturbance uh, can happen in Vrindavan, so um, it's better for you to go quickly back. <laughs> uh, so Maharaj Nanda is a protector, we can say. So when Maharaj Nanda or protector is away, uh, then uh, demons can easily come uh, into to our consciousness. So for a devotee, uh, his or her protector is instruction of spiritual master. A pre daného tá ochrana sú tie pokyny od duchovného učiteľa. So if our instructions or instructions of our spiritual master uh, goes away from us, <laughs> we are left unprotected. Takže ak tie pokyny od duchovného učiteľa od nás odídu, tak uh, sme, nie sme pod ochranou. So we should keep the instructions of our spiritual master in in forefront of our existence. And um, many devotees usually think <coughs> that I didn't receive any special instruction from my spiritual master. They have such experience. Um, but we should know that everything they speak, even if they don't speak to you personally, they are speaking you personally. <laughs> For example, uh, once I was present when my Guru Maharaj 
was giving some lecture and he said today Prabhupada told me this and this and this <laughs> and uh, devotees were perplexed how Prabhupada told you this today and he explained that uh, he uh, listens to lectures of Prabhupada and what whatever Prabhupada says in his lectures he takes this personally so we should take personally whatever our spiritual master is preaching and if you are serious in spiritual life we at least took a vow in front of our spiritual master to chant our 16 rounds without offense. Mm, yes, at least 16 rounds. <laughs> and uh, to follow four regulative principles. So, if not anything else, we have at least these two direct instructions. Yes, and, and they're important instructions, actually. Um, and they are our protectors. Uh, so if we really take to, to heart not to commit offenses against the holy name, uh, we will always be protected. So we should know very well the ten offenses against the holy name. And I don't mean only to uh, ability to repeat them by heart. <laughs> uh, but to follow them. Yes, so this is extremely important for our spiritual life. Otherwise, Krishna in our heart can be killed. Of course, Krishna can never be killed, but our connection with him will be uh, disrupted. Yes, and um, it would be for us as good as Krishna's dead. <laughs> yes. So uh, this was Putana. And um, then when Krishna, and, uh, at that time Krishna was a newborn actually. And then Krishna, when he was only three months old, uh, next demon appeared in Vrindavan. Uh, Krishna showed the signs that he would like to uh, stand up and, and turn around and so on. And uh, for every occasion there is some different uh, ceremony done in Vedic society. So, um, there was preparation for a ceremony for baby's first turn around and 
at this time also the baby is taken out for the first time. Takže to sa robila taká ceremonia, kedy to dieťa sa začne tak ako prevracať a tiež kedy je brané prvýkrát von z domu. Yes. So um mother Shoda gave milk, breast milk to uh, to Krishna. Takže matka Jašoda nakrmila Krishnu s mliekom z prsu. Yes. Uh, and she was lying down with, uh, uh, together with Krishna. And then um, Krishna fell asleep. Yes, it's very uh, instructive also for mothers. <laughs> yes, that um, the child feels very secure and and perfectly nice if uh, the child is with his or her mother. Yes, and when it's, uh, the child is uh, breastfed. Um, and the child feels love, security, um, nourishment. Takže to dieťa cíti uh, lásku, ochranu, uh, takú sitosť. Um, and um, it's really perfectly pleasant experience for a child. A je to veľmi taká dokonalá, dokonalá šťastná skúsenosť pre to dieťa. Um, so it's extremely important for mothers to to give such experience to her children. And um, to to give the child experience of Krishna during such perfect uh, perfect pleasurable time for for a child. Uh, And um, many times we can hear mothers they um, complain that they have no time for chanting. Um, but um, the child at this age um, usually needs attention quite often and <laughs> and if if we chant all the time when uh, the child needs attention we can chant a lot <laughs> yes so we can uh, breastfeed our children and chant along with uh, this breastfeeding on our japa no problem and usually babies love to be breastfed so we have enough time breastfeeding and and chanting Takže máme dosť času na kramenie a čentovanie. Yeah. Yes, and babies will be perfectly happy. A babetka bude dokonala šťastná. Yeah, and they will receive some, something uh, invaluable jewel of the holy name along with the mother's love. A oni uh, získajú ešte popri tom um, lieku od matky uh, nezaplatiteľný drahokán a svetého mena. Yes, and this is extremely important because we know this power of triggers <laughs> in, in modern psychology uh, that we, we connect something uh, with experience uh, in our life. Triggers. Triggers? Trigger, yes. 
trigger trigger is something is some experience that you have in your life for example uh, if there is a sun cream you smell the sun cream and immediately you remember seaside for example I understand that I thinking about this slow I will takže tej modernej psychológii používajú taký ten termín, ktorý ako spúšťač, a okay, spúšťač. Spúšťač. Používajú spúšťač a to je termín, ktorý vlastne hovorí o tom, že keď je tá matka kojí to mlieko a to dieťa vlastne ako pri tom počuje to spievanie, tak si bude prirodzene na to myslieť. Yes, uh, so uh, the child will connect the chanting of the holy name with nourishment, with protection, with love, uh, with, with pleasant experiences. So, we should never um, punish the children by that they have to chant if they have not, not well behaved. A nemali by sme nikdy, že trestať deti čentovaním, že keď urobia nejakú nezbednosť, takže tak teraz budeš čentovať. Yes, because they will have this trigger that chanting is punishment. Takže budú mať v sebe zabudované, že spievanie to je vlastne trest. Yes. So, uh, chanting should be there when, especially when the child is five years old and so on, they should chant regularly. And even before, they, they can chant regularly, but uh, not as a, as a routine uh, um, duty. Uh, yes, so um, this is a little bit uh, sidetrack. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's important to understand uh, different uh, teachings that uh, Krishna Lila is offering us. Ale je dôležité porozumieť rôznym tým učeniam, ktoré nám tie zábavy s uh, Krišnomho života dávajú. So Yashoda um, nourished uh, Krišna by her milk and uh, put him under the cart. A takže matka Yashoda ona uh, dala, ako naplnila Krišnu Uh, aby bol najedený a on zaspal a ona ho položila pod vozík. Yes, and this cart was full of different utensils. A ten uh, vozík, on bol, na ňom bolo mnoho rôznych náradia. And it was very heavy. A bol veľmi ťažký. And um, Ishuda then went to receive guests and um, uh, attend to other duties. A Jašod, matka Jašoda, ona išla uh, pribítať hostí a mala veľa povinností iných. So, um, baby Krishna woke up during this time uh, and he wanted to be, to experience the same pleasure, pleasurable moments with his mother <laughs> as before. Takže Krishna, ona sa zobodil a chcel ti znova zažívať tie lásky plné But the mother was not there. And so, as children do, he started to cry. Yes, to attract mother's attention. Uh, so, but mother didn't hear him. So, Krishna became very angry. <laughs> And he kicked with his feet. Uh, and he kicked also uh, this big cart. He was a little baby, three months old. 
Takže on bol iba malá babetko, 3 mesiace. And his lotus feet were extremely tender. A jeho nožičky boli také jemnočké. And soft as the petals of lotus flower. Také jemné ako uh, lotosové kvety. And if you touch touch uh, Krishna's feet, uh, you would see the imprint of your finger when you removed your finger. <laughs> so they were as soft as butter. But when his lotus feet, such soft, delicate feet, touched this big, heavy cart, this uh, cart mm, broke with, with huge uh, noise. <laughs> and these utensils were f- uh, flying here and there, on everywhere, on all different places. This elderly cowherd men were astonished. What happened? What happened? How can this uh, cart be destroyed completely? What happened with this card? Who who did it? And, or what did it? And uh, small children who were around this card, they said Krishna did it. <laughs> Krishna kicked the, uh, the card. And they couldn't believe this. And they took it as a childish speech. <laughs> so um, they were perplexed because they tried to find the cause of this collapse of the cart, but they couldn't find it. Um, so this is instructive also for us. <laughs> If we don't accept the knowledge in parampara, from which uh, stems directly from Krishna, we cannot find uh, any truth whatsoever. Yes, because these children Uh, were direct witness of of Krishna's activities. So they were bona fide gurus. (laughs) 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 But if we don't accept the teaching from a bona fide guru, we cannot see the truth. Yes, even if it is directly in front of us, we remain blind and, and uh, we don't take seriously uh, preaching of, of bona fide gurus. Yes, so it's very important to um, to understand this teaching and and um, be very humble uh, even this teaching may seem impossible is seemingly impossible yes because for this elderly man This teaching that Krishna destroyed uh, the cart was unthinkable, in, in, impossible that such a small child could do this. 
uvažovať o tom, že Mani Krišna vlastne zlomil ten vozík, tak to bolo ako nepredstaviteľné. And, and, and the main teaching is uh, about this cart itself. A hlavné to poučenie je o tom voze samotnom. The cart was um, possessed, we can say, by a great demon. A to, ten vozík bol posadnutý takým veľkým démonom. And uh, the demon was called Shakatasura. A ten démon sa nazýval Shakatasura. And uh, represents carrying a heavy load. Heavy? Oh. Heavy load. Ah. Uh, a to reprezentuje, že uh, nesie ťažký náklad. Yes, because this cart was heavily loaded by different utensils, by heavy utensils. Pretože na tom vozíku boli uh, veľa rôzneho ťažkého národia. And this heavy load can be of different types. A tento, uh, tento ťažký náklad môže byť rôzneho spôsobu. Mm, Rupa Goswami in his Upadashamrita in second verse explains six items that are detrimental for our spiritual progress. A Rupa Goswami v Nektare pokynal hovorí o šesť veciach, ktoré sú nepriezné. And he says Atya hara prayasascha prajalpaniya magraha sanga tyagascha lolyamcha no no jana sangascha lolyamcha shadbir bhaktir vinashati that these six items destroy devotional service atya hara prayasascha prajalpaniya magraha Jana Sangha Shalolyam Cha Shadbir Bhaktir Vinashati. First is Atyahara. And this is translated in different, in different ways. One is, of course, Ahara means eating or food. A tie hara a ona je vysvetľovaná rôznymi spôsobmi. A prvý z nich je a samozrejme ako pre, prejedanie sa. A hara means um, food or eating. Takže uh. a znamená jedlo alebo je, jedinie. Uh, and it can mean uh, ati means too much. Ati znamená príliš veľa. And a tie hara means eating too much or collecting too much. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur explains because in first um, verse of Upadesha Amrita, Rupa Goswami says Jihva Begam, the, the, the uh, urge of, of tongue. A prvom verši hovorí o Jihva Begam, o nutkaní toho jazyka. He explains that um, this urge of tongue is of course urge for eating. Uh, urge of tongue is, is urge for eating. Uh, so if Atehara would also be this uh, urge for eating too much, uh, it would be punar ukti or unnecessarily repeating. Uh, a ak táto atiahara by bolo to nutkanie po tom jedle, uh, tak by to bolo uh, nezbytné necessary. Uh, re- repetition of something that all was already said. Uh, že, že by to bolo opakovanie už niečo, čo už bolo povedané. Um, and this is one of defects of, of composing uh, scriptures. Uh, uh, to je taký ako keby nedostatok, keď niekto uh, tvorí písma. Or, or uh, composing poems, for example, no, in poetry. Sa, keď sa robia uh, poézia, keď sa básne sa robia, tak uh, je to taký yes. it's, called, it's called Punar Ukti. Nazýva sa to Punar Ukti. 
Yes, that, uh, we already said something and we just unnecessarily repeat. So, um, therefore, um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur explains that this Atyahara is not Punar Ukti, but uh, it explains further that it's all unnecessarily collecting things uh, and accepting different um, sensual experiences, unnecessary sensual experiences. So uh, this can also mean uh, accepting unnecessarily our uh, with with our eyes. Or uh, different sound experiences that are unnecessary. Uh, or uh, different experiences of of taste, of touch, of smell, of, of anything like this. Yes, this is un unnecessarily enjoying things actually. Um, so he says, on one side we have this Atyahara, accepting too much. And on the other side we have Yuktahara, uh, which is also a term composed by uh, Rupa Goswami in, um, in Nectar of Devotion in uh, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhus. Yuktahara Viharasya. Um, no, this is in, from Bhagavad Gita. Mm. Uh, but Anasakta se vishan yatarham upayunjatu nirbandh nirbandh Krishna sambando yuktam vairagya muchati. Yes, that this yukta vairagya is yuktahara actually, and yuktahara is from sixth uh, canto of uh, sixth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Yukta Hara Vihara Sya Yukta Shrishta Sya Karmasu Yukta Swapnama Buddha Sya Yoga Pavati Dukkaha That uh, if one is very um, mm, equipoised in, in eating, sleeping and recreation and work he can uh, achieve all perfection by practicing yoga and be free from all miseries. <laughs> Yukta Hara, to je to Krishna zmiňuje v Bhagavad Gita, a i Rupa Goswami v některé pokynou. A ono hovorí o... Yes, um, in, 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 in uh, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu it is said that uh, we should accept anything that is beneficial for devotional service and nothing else. And in Bhagavad Gita, in sixth chapter, Lord Krishna explains that uh, we should be very regulated and uh, equipoised in, in eating, sleeping and recreation and work. Recreation and work. And <coughs> by such regulated life, we can achieve perfection of yoga, of spiritual life. And be free from all miseries. Basically, this uh, this is life in in uh, the mode of goodness. And um, from second chapter 
of first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, we can know that only by practicing devotional service we can uh, achieve even the mode of goodness. Yes, it is explained. Nashta Prashva Bhadrashu Nityam Bhagavata Seva Bhagavat Yuttama Shloki Bhaktir Bhavati Nashtiki. That by practicing, uh, by regularly hearing Srimad Bhagavatam and, and serving great uh, devotees, Uh, even before we are completely pure, our bhakti becomes naishtiki, or firmly fixed. Yes, even before uh, we are completely pure. And uh, then the next verse explains Tada. Tada means then. How is it uh, then in, in Slovak? Potom. Potom. Tada rajasta mobavaha kama lobada ishe. Chaitar eater with navidam. Sitvan satve prasidati. That only then. Um, we can be free from rajas and tamas. Um, and, and subdue uh, lust and ignorance in our heart. Uh, and and, uh, and um, greed, kama loba. And, uh, and other things. Yes. Uh, and be situated in goodness. Uh, only by devotional service. It's not other way around that first we should practice um, the sattva gun or the mode of goodness and then we can achieve bhakti. Čiže jedine oddanou službou to môžeme dosiahnuť. Není to naopak, že najprv my budeme kultivovať uh, kvalitu dobrá a potom uh, budeme vlastne ako robiť oddanú službu. No. When we practice devotional service, teda only then we can uh, conquer our lust and greed and basically rajas and tamas. Uh, teda iba keď my budeme a praktikovať uh, oddanú službu, to znamená, že potom my môžeme pokoriť tú kvalitu vášne a nevedomosti. Yes. So, uh, we can live in sattva gun uh, only by devotional service. Takže my môžeme žiť v kvalite dobrá iba na základe oddanej služby. So this uh, big load of uh, this cart in Vrindavan represents Uh, dif- different unnecessary things in our life. Takže ten veľký náklad, ten veľký vozík reprezentuje, že my máme príliš veľa zbytočných vecí. Yes, uh, so we endeavor for things that are not necessary for our spiritual life. Takže my usilujeme o veci, ktoré nie sú nezbytné pre náš duchovný pokrok. Therefore, instruction of our spiritual masters uh, are that we should live a um, simple life um, and think uh, highly, uh, uh, simple living, high thinking. <laughs> and to, um, to eat and To, to collect only as much as needed for life, to, to keep our soul uh, and body together. Yes, and this is very easily understood what that means. So, 
So if we strive very hard to achieve something, this is our endeavor. A ak my sa snažíme príliš uh, s veľkým úsilím niečo dosiahnuť, znamená, že to je uh, nadbytočné úsilie. Yes, and uh, what we achieve from such over endeavor is our collecting. <laughs> A čo my získame s takýmto nadmerným úsilím, to je uh, hromadenie príliš veľa. Yes. So uh, one very good instruction I've heard from uh, Jayadvaita Maharaj. Jeden dobrý pokyn, ktorý som počul od Jayadvaita Maharaj. Uh, it was last year in Simhachalam. Bolo to minulý rok na Simhachalam. And he said that uh, our uh, way of life should be that uh, our expenditure should be as close to zero as possible. <laughs> A že hovoril, že naše Uh, výdavky by mali byť uh, čo najbližšie k nula. <laughs> This is good uh, standard that we know uh, if we spend too much or not. A to je dobrý standard, <laughs> že či vieme, že či míňame príliš veľa alebo nie. And this year I spoke with Jananda Maharaj in New Mayapur in France um, and uh, he has similar uh, conviction. A tento rok som rozprával sa s Janom Maharajom v Novom Majapure vo Francúzsku a on má uh, také isté presvedčenie. And he said that uh, he was raised by his father uh, who taught him not to spend even, even a shilling that was a time when shillings were in, in the UK in, in use. <laughs> not even a shilling unnecessarily. A uh, on bol vychovaný svojim otcom takým spôsobom, že ani šilink uh, nevinde na zmar. Uh, v tej dobe v Anglicku sa používali šilinky. Uh, so, and he said that uh, following this uh, principle in his life, he was never, there, there was never a time that he was lacking some money. <laughs> uh, tým, že udržoval tento princíp, tak nemal um, obdobie v živote, keby by mu peniaze nejak chýbali. Yes. And so, uh, you are very free if you spend nothing. <laughs> Ste veľmi neskupení, keď nič nemíňate. Uh, you are not in debt. Nie ste v dlhoch. Yes. <laughs> you don't uh, depend on others. Nezávisíte na iných. Yes, that means you don't depend on, on social security or anything like this. Závisíte na nejakých sociálnych sociálnej podpore. Yes, so uh, you're actually free in your life if you live simply like this. Ste oslobodení, keď žijete takto jednoducho. But as soon as you overcollect, uh, you complicate your life. Ale ako náhle vy uh, hromadíte viacej, tak si začínate komplikovať svoj život. And uh, there comes anxiety. Prichádza tam úzkosť. And fear. A strach. Uh, what will happen? Čo sa stane? Um, how can I maintain all these things? Ako ja budem udržovať tieto veci? Uh, how to prevent that I... Um, that They, that these things would be taken away from me. <laughs> so many concerns. Uh, and of course, these concerns and anxiety prevents us to fully dedicate our, our li- life, our heart to Krishna. A samozrejme, tieto uh, obavy nás, nám potom bránia k tomu, aby sme sa úplne odovzdali Krišnovi. Actually, we will not hear Krišna crying. <laughs> Ani na skutočnosti my nebudem počuť, keď Krišna plače. Yes, uh, because we will be engaged in other things. <laughs> my budeme zamestnaní v iných veciach. <laughs> yes, uh, Krišna will cry for our attention. But we will not even hear him what to speak of giving attention. Že Krishna bude plakať o našu pozornosť, ale my budeme pomerani v iných veciach a nebudeme to počuť. 
And uh, this is just, we discussed just uh, material things, um, collecting of material things. But there are other dimension of, of this collecting also. Other dimension of this over collecting is also over collecting of useless knowledge. A další aspekt toho zbytočného hromadenia je aj hromadenie zbytočného zbytočných vedomostí. And every knowledge that is not guiding us to surrender to Krishna in full humility and service to the devotees and to Krishna is useless knowledge. Takže všetko poznanie, ktoré Uh, nás nevedie k plnému odovzdaniu sa Krišnovi v oddanosti, uh, tak je zbytočné poznanie. So even if we study Bhakti Shastri, dokonca aj ak aj študujeme Bhakti Shastri, of course Bhakti Shastri has, uh, have the power to purify our heart. Samozrejme Bhakti Shastri má silu očistiť naše srdce. But if we Uh, approach to Bhakti Shastri with wrong mentality. Um, with the idea that uh, I can be better than others. Um, and then I will be glorified <laughs> as a very learned personality. This is Shakata Sura mentality. Uh, yes, and um, we will not hear Krishna again, <laughs> but we will hear our false ego uh, more than Krishna. Yes, so <clears throat> it's extremely important. Um, Whatever we receive or whatever we have in our life, that uh, it should be uh, used for Krishna's service. Yes, um, study of Bhakti Shastri, of different Shastras, uh, is very beneficial. Um, to properly understand what is devotional service and what is not. And uh, what are offenses against uh, devotional service and what are not offenses. Um, not just the holy name but the devotional service. Uh, yes, this is extremely important because we can we can uh, perform so-called devotional service life after life after life. Jiva Goswami says millions of lifetimes. <laughs> But we don't achieve uh, Krishna Prima. If we perform devotional service with offenses, and we may even not know that we perform devotional service with offenses. Yes, and it happens many times. Have you heard about uh, Dr. Nrsinghadev? Uh, this famous uh, doctor in in uh, in Mayapur. <laughs> yes, devotees pay for pujas for health. <laughs> And they uh, receive good results. <laughs> Therefore, uh, Lord Nusinghadev is uh, is better investment than doctors. 
So he's famous as Dr. Andrzej Hadev. <laughs> so, but if we invest uh, our, our money and energy and prayers and hopes uh, to Andrzej Hadev or any form of the Lord with this idea to receive something material for our uh, service, so-called service, will achieve what we pray for, maybe. But we will never receive love. It is explained in fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam um, that Muktim Dadati Karhichit Smana Bhakti Yogam that I easily give Mukti but not Bhakti. Yes, <laughs> because Bhakti has the power to control the Lord Himself. And the Lord doesn't want to be just controlled by anyone. <laughs> so he's very cautious to whom he gives bhakti. So if we want anything for selfish purposes, not for Krishna's pleasure in our life, for uh, this is offense. If anything for our selfish purposes yeah. and not for devotional service to Krishna, this is offense. Yes. Uh, and this can be anything. A to môže byť we pray for Krishna for a good husband or a good wife. Uh, to, to have good relationship in our family. Aby sme mali dobré v našej rodine. To, to, to get good children. Aby sme mali dobré deti. Yes. Um, to have a good salary to, to give a lot of money to Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> or to, to sing very beautifully. Uh, uh, for, uh, uh, and we can, of course, pack this uh, for Krishna, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, but in, in, in some remote corner of our heart, uh, we have desired that we would be recognized as a great singer. Yes, or to be very knowledgeable or, or anything. Yes, that we would be very attractive to ladies. <laughs> uh, or to boys. <laughs> Especially brahmacharis usually. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So yes, we should know that all these unnecessary desires in our heart are just burden. Yes, and this burden will um, just um, cover Krishna and we will not be able to hear his crying. Yes, so um, I thought that we will discuss also another demon today, but uh, it looks like we are uh, too late. 
uh, by bolo asi neskoro. Yes. Maybe uh, it's better to have some discussion. Možno máme nejakú diskusiu. Uh, please uh, yeah. ask nejaké, some questions. Nejaké otázky? Uh, I, I saw you first. <laughs> okay. uh, you were speaking about a few short ways to Sat Bhagavan to Bhakti. A že um, si hovoril, že na tú uh, satvogu my sa pozdeňujeme pomocou bhakti. Že, um, ale tá kvalita dobrá je len materiálna príroda, že aký je potom ten záver toho. Yes. Uh, of course, we don't stop at, uh, at, at, at uh, Satvagun. Satvagun is <coughs> just the platform um, that is beneficial for devotional service. For example, we can see that in uh, Srimad Bhagavatam in 11th canto, uh, Lord Krishna explains to Uddhava Mm, this is uh, Tamagun, this is Rajagun, this is Satvagun, and this is Bhakti. And, and Bhakti. Uh, but in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna explains just this uh, Tamagun, Rajagun, and Satvagun. Ale Bhagavad Gita vysvetľuje len, čo je kvalita dobrá vášne a nevedomosti. Uh, he doesn't stress Bhakti separately. Uh, ne, nevysvetľuje tu Bhakti oddelenie. Uh, but it is explained by our charyas that uh, uh, this explaining of sattva gun is explaining the mood of uh, in which devotional service should be performed. Ale uh, našim jačariam je vysvetlené, že Uh, to vysvetlenie kvality dobré je, uh, že v tej úrovni my uh, môžeme vlastne praktikovať a nám slúžiť. And it, it, the next verse explains this in uh, the second chapter of first canto. Ivan Prasana Manaso Bhagavad Bhakti Yogita um, uh, Bhagavad Tattva Vigyanam Mukta Sangha Sajayati That uh, by performing devotional service in such a way Uh, we can transcend all um, connection with matter. After the last verse in Bhagavata, we say that we can by by uh, performing devotional service, we can transcend uh, yeah. all connection with material world. That by practicing modern service, we can transcend everything to spoiling the material world. And we can, uh, as Prabhupada translates, we can uh, scientifically understand uh, the Supreme Personality we got here. Yes, and be established in pure devotional service, actually. And this is the goal, uh, of course, uh, Prima Bhakti is the goal. Yes. And this uh, prema is the only scientifically understanding the supreme personality of God. <laughs> yes. This is Bhagavad Tattva Vigyana, that we have practical uh, knowledge, Vigyana, of uh, Bhagavad Tattva. Yes, uh, and this is Prima. Hare Krishna, is this okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that we, we should have zero expenses as possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ale že pre Krišnu môžeme mať nekonečné výdavky. 
but for Krishna we can we can have unlimited uh, expenses. <laughs> uh, you can comment something about it. Uh, yes, it's true. We can have unlimited expenses uh, for Krishna. My možno, ano, je pravda, že my možno mať uh, nekonečné výdavky pre Krishna. Um, but then we have zero expenses for ourselves. <laughs> to znamená, že potom my musíme mať nulové výdavky pre seba. <laughs> so this is still following the instruction of Chaitveta Maharaj. We have zero expenses for ourselves and unlimited expenses for Krishna. Takže potom to sú, súhlasí aj s tým, čo hovorí Jadveta Maharaj, že máme nulové výdavky pre seba a neumedzené pre Krishna. Yes. And we use just the necessity to keep body and soul together. <laughs> my máme len toľko, koľko udržuje telo a dušu pohľadu. And we can see um, exactly this situation from uh, example of Shula Prabhupada. A my to môžeme vidieť v tom príklade Shula Prabhupada. He wanted to keep track and, and notice of every farthing uh, spent. He didn't want to spend even a cent uh, just like this. Na nič zbytočné, len tak. Yes, he wanted uh, to keep records of every spending. On, no, chcel, aby sa zapisovali všetky výdavky. And he, uh, he lived very simply. A žil veľmi jednoducho. Um, but he spent enormous amounts for Krishna. <laughs> Ale uh, míňal nesmierne množstva pre Krišna. Yes. Um, but he went to America no. with uh, just, just recently was uh, Prabhupada embarking on Jaladuta for, uh, for America. Uh, um, on išiel do Ameriky, ale nedávno bolo vlastne to naladenie uh, na tú Jaladutu a cesta do Ameriky. When was this? Yesterday or day before yesterday? Yes, uh, just recently. Uh, and he took 40 rupees with him. And at that time 40 rupees was seven dollars. And uh, after a few years he came back to India uh, and he brought 40 rupees <laughs> with him back to India. <laughs> uh, po uh, rokov on išiel naspäť do Indie a mal zo sebou 40 rupí. <laughs> so he didn't spend anything. On <laughs> neminul nič. <laughs> he was living example of this instruction. On bol živý príklad pre to, tohto pokyna. He didn't spend a farthing for his existence. On nemínal nič uh, na svoju existenciu. Uh, but he expanded unlimited amount of money for Krishna's service. Ale expandoval neobmedzené množstvo peniazy pre Krishnovu službu. Yes, and so, and therefore Krishna gave him so much, because he knew that Prabhupada would not uh, exploit this money for, for his purposes, selfish purposes, but just for service. A preto mu Krišna dal toľko veľa, lebo vedel, že on to nezneužije pre nejaké svoje osobné potreby. But just for Krišna's service. Ale iba pre službu Krišnovi. Is this okay? To v poriadku. Thank you. Hare Krišna. Anything else? Yes. Yeah, uh, maybe you can... Uh, I have two questions. One is about this yesterday, about this sincerity. Maybe. Oh, yes. <coughs> um, Yesterday uh, we went out of time for questions. Takže, ten na otázky, tak, uh, tam bola jedna 
Pascal. And um, one of the things we discussed yesterday uh, was uh, sincerity. A jedna vec, ktorú sme chceli prediskutovať ešte, tak to bolo o úprimnosti. Um, and we discussed how um, we should be sincere um, even if we are beginners if we are sincere we will be protected by Krishna and then the question was um, how to be sincere uh, ako byť úprimný? Uh, is there anything uh, And, uh, also uh, how to know that we are actually sincere. sincere because from in our understanding to be sincere can mean something else what actually it means. <laughs> yes. Že uh, tá stavka bola že aj ako byť ako že v skutočnosti čo to znamená tá úprimnosť, lebo my si môžeme myslieť, že sme úprimní, ale v skutočnosti nemusíme byť. <laughs> Yes, this is very important question. So, we should try to be sincere as far as we can, it could be. And <coughs> sincerity will be tested uh, by following a great personality. And great personalities are following Guru, Sadhu and Shastra. So we should try to um, first uh, to have some idea um, who is Sadhu and Shastra. <laughs> and we have uh, many examples from the past from our uh, from history um, of great saints for example in in uh, all different uh, religions of this world Yes, so these great saints uh, applied teachings of Shastra um, according to Lord's desire. So if we follow teachings of Jesus, for example, um, according to his teachings, not according to uh, explanations of his teachings. <laughs> And we follow uh, examples of great saints uh, because I'm talking about Jesus because this is the um, part of the world where majority of religious people follow Jesus' teachings. Takže hovorím o tom o učení Ježiša kvôli tomu, lebo že žijeme v takej časti, kde väčšina tých ľudí nasleduje i to je práve jeho učenie. Um, so, we can see examples of great personalities like, like Francis of Assisi, for example. Môžeme vidieť veľké osobnosti, ktoré ho nasledovali, ako napríklad František z Assisi. And other saints who were great devotees actually. Um, and even when uh, if we uh, begin the path of pure devotional service in Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition. We can also see example of great personalities like Goswamis from Vrindavan. And other great souls and Lord Chaitanya. Um, and we can accept their teaching. Um, and then we can, uh, we should actually Um, try to go deep in these teaching, teachings 
and and be very humble in applying this knowledge in our life. A mali by sme ísť do hĺbky toho poznania a aplikovať to v našich životoch. Very humbly. A my pokorne. Um, but if we think we, we know everything, ale ak si myslíme, že vieme všetko, and that um, we shouldn't um, bother with the example of others, a, že sa nemusíme tým namáhať um, pozeraním sa na príklady iných, um, we will be cheated. Tak budeme podvedení. <laughs> <laughs> because we have cheat, cheating mentality. Uh, pretože my máme tú mentalitu podvodníka. And we will accept uh, putanas milk with poison. A budeme prijímať uh, to mlieko od putany s jedom. So the safety valve as we can say. A tá bezpečná uh, cesta Valve. Valve is... You know what is Valve? Valve? Uh, Valmiki, Prabhu? Yes. What is Valve in, uh, in Slovak? I, yeah, I, uh, I, I cannot catch the exact word. Valve. Safety valve. When you, 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 you pump the tire, uh, you pump it through the valve. No, not the uh, uh, pump, but valve. Uh, you you pump the tire through the valve. Oh, yes, and this safety valve, you understand? My, my safety pin is a better word. <laughs> safety pin is something else, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, so uh, safety net, we can say. In net, you know what is net. Uh, so safety net in our devotional service is is to be humble. To be humble. Ah, sorry. <laughs> yes, it's to be humble. Uh, if we are humble, then we will we be definitely guided by Krishna himself. Therefore, this, ex- uh, this teaching is extremely important. Trinada Pisanichana, Toro Riva, Sekishnana, Amani Namana Dina Kirtana Akstahi. That we should be more humble than the blade of grass. Mm, tolerant, as tolerant as a tree. Uh, never demand anything for our selfish purposes uh, or uh, uh, any any honor for ourselves uh, not not just demand but even expect expect but to give all respects to others of course this at the beginning is impossible to implement this fully Samozrejme, na začiatku to není možné plne uh, implementovať. But we should, we should strive in this direction very hard. Ale mali by sme sa snažiť týmto smerom veľmi mocne. Yes, and, and then we will be guided by Krishna in our heart, because he is Chaitya Guru. A potom budeme vedení Krishna znutra, pretože uh, on je Chaitya Guru. Yes, he will guide us to proper to a proper guru. Yes, and um, he will guide us to be properly um, situated, to be, uh, to be sincere in life. And to be sincere, yes. Okay, is this okay?
Yeah, uh, one uh, thing uh, is, uh, and what the, what is the symptoms? When we, uh, what are the symptoms uh, uh -huh. that uh, somebody is like uh, uh, sincere? For for us or for others? For others. That they are sincere. Sú symptómy toho, keď je niekto akože úprimný. Že ako to my môžeme vidieť. One thing that is very important is that uh, he, he follows strictly instruction of, uh, of Guru Sadhu and Shastra. A takže jedna vec je, že on no, veľmi uh, striktne nasleduje tie pokyny Guru Sadhu a Shastra. And at the same time he's not proud and he, uh, he, he, he's not um, gossiping about others. <laughs> Súčasne on není pyšný a neohovára ich. But he uh, is very humble. A je veľmi pokorný. Um, yes, this is the sign. Takže to je ten znak. Yes, if one is proud and, and um, blaspheming others and uh, wants to teach all everyone around himself how to, to live, this is uh, the sign that he's not sincere. Or if he doesn't follow strictly, even if he's so-called humble, but doesn't follow strictly uh, Guru Sada and Shastra, he's also not sincere. Uh, je aj pokorný, ale nenasleduje striktne Guru Sada a Shastra, tak uh, znamená, že tiež nie je uprímný. So, it's important, both things. <laughs> Takže obidve veci sú dôležité. It's okay? Yeah. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Yes, please. že mám taký uh, doplnok uh, v uh, mojej mysli. Že keď je niekto úprimný, takže tiež jeho činnosti sú ako transparentné, že každý uh, môže vidieť, že čo on robí. No duplicity. Že není tam dvojakosť. Yes. Thank you for this comment. Yes, he um, and actually we discussed this. We we said this that he follows very strictly, and if we see that he follows very strictly, his uh, his actions are transparent. A my to aj tak ako zmienili, že nasleduje veľmi striktne a to, že nasleduje veľmi striktne, znamená, že jeho činnosti sú transparentné. Yes, and if he doesn't blaspheme others, it's also trans it's clear to everyone that he's not engaged in blaspheming others. A ak on nehovára druhých, tak je to veľmi jasné. Because for gossiping, you need uh, at least someone else <laughs> to gossip with. <laughs> you, you cannot just blaspheme others just to yourself, but you have to tell all others <laughs> about the, uh, uh, this, this uh, faults of some other person. <laughs> Potrebuješ tam na to niekoho, komu to budeš hovoriť, aby si povedal nejaké veci o tých druhých. Yes, and this both things can be perceived very easily. A obi dve veci môžu byť vnímané tak veľmi ľahko. Yes, so if one is gossiping, is perceived extremely easily. Že ak niekto ohovára, tak to môže byť vnímané veľmi easily 
Yes, and if one is not strict in devotional service, it also proceeds very easily. Yes, so um, such behavior is quite transparent. Of course, everyone has his private life, uh, which is not transparent. <laughs> but um, one cannot fool people for for a very long time. Yes. Uh, sooner or later, we'll uh, come out his nature. Yes, he cannot hide for a very long time. Yes. Is this okay? Yes, of course, but at the beginning mm, we are not so pure. Uh, so we we, sh we need guidance to become purified. Guidance of Guru, Sadhu and Shastra. Um, and if we are sincere, we accept this because uh, we have this quality of, of being humble. Uh, we accept the, the, the instruction of Guru, Sadhu and Shastra because we, at least to some degree, we are humble. At least to some degree. Yes. So it's important, yes, uh, uh, to have sincere attempts uh, and, and, and purposes in life. Sincere uh, attempts and purposes in life. It's okay? Anything else? If not, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Gaur Bhakta Vrinda ki jai, Nitai Gaur Pramanandi Hari Hari Go. Please accept my